sometimes one little product, one little innocuous product, can tell an enormous story about where our society is at today. And that's what I found when I was doing some shopping and looked at a product called Arm & Hammer Essentials Laundry Sheets. It costs $6, you can get it at Amazon or any store. And I noticed something really important about the ingredients. This is something that you won't hear anybody, anywhere else. The first ingredient for these laundry sheets, and other products similar for the Arm & Hammer one, is quaternary ammonium compounds. Now, this is an ingredient you've probably never heard of, but it's been involved in legal actions with products like Diva Curl, and it's also frequently found in hair straightening products for the ethnic hair care market, hair straightening products, hair care products. The quaternium compounds prevent sticking, so when you have two different surfaces, they don't cling to each other. And that's why they're used in laundry too as dryer sheets. Now, the quaternium compounds are also used in antibacterial sprays like Lysol. It's one of the main ingredients. And that's because quaternium compounds are biocides. They're effectively little pesticides. They do have that property for the hair or for clothing. And that's why they're so frequently used in hair care products and in laundry sheets. Now, they were also being used in hand towels, particularly during the pandemic when you bought those little hand towels during the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. These had as an active ingredient often quaternium compounds. Back in 2014, researchers published an important study from Virginia Tech and it came from their biomedical sciences laboratory. They had switched chemicals in order to keep the rodent cages free from uh, bacteria, and they had switched from what they were using to the quaternium compounds, and the rodents became infertile. There were stillbirths, there were no births, there were abnormal sperm counts. All of this happened because of the rodents' exposure to quaternium compounds. Now, you understand that in America, no pre-market safety testing is required for ingredients. 